the quarterback. Man goes in motion. Keenum looking to throw, and it's intercepted. It's picked off by Pierre Bell and Pierre Bell. When we come back, the Pirates will take over first and ten deep in Houston territory. And the Pirates. They give us to Chris Johnson. He's got a lot of running room up the middle. He's down near the goal line, and Johnson in. is in for the touchdown. So Chris Johnson, his fourth touchdown of the season, and the extra point will tie it up for the Pirates, Billy. Well, I tell you what, that's big for East Carolina to be able to answer. Houston, they turn the ball over. Houston on their very first yardage has seven career touchdown receptions, three rushing touchdowns this year, and here's another one. And, man, I'll tell you, a lot of running room up the gut right there. That offensive line, Matt Butler, Fred Hicks, Doug Palmer, Scott Kaufman, those guys blowing Houston off the line of scrimmage. Well, it was Palmer that opened the line, that opened the space. You know what? Almost like a triage unit for for lack of a better word, down and downstairs, and that one's intercepted. Keenan's pass is intercepted. Leon Best bringing it down to around the 20 interception. And that one just floated out there. Looked like he threw a duck. Case Keenum, I don't know if that was a wet football or what the deal was. Originally, I thought maybe somebody had gotten a hand on it, but that was just a horrible pass by Case Keenum. He throws a duck out there, and Leon Best just back there playing center field comes up with the turnover. One of our keys to the game for East Carolina was to create turnovers. They've been averaging two turnovers a ball game. They've got Johnson in the backfield, picking out of the shotgun. Rodgers is the split man to the left, and he goes to Dwayne Harris in the end zone for the touchdown. So Dwayne Harris beat his man. And Third and long situation. You'll see that for East Carolina's defense. Joseph is under pressure, and he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And now East Carolina is going to take a timeout with 2.33 left on this clock. They're in, they're in uh, third and long situation right here. Hard attempt by T.J. Lawrence. And it's blocked. The Pirates block and it's picked up by Zach Slate. And here comes Zach Slate and he's going to be run down. And he is. He's hauled down at the 12-yard line. But a big play by the special teams unit of the Pirates. Yeah, that started as a bad snap. You saw the bad snap. It just took in. Also on special teams, look right up the middle. There is just a ton of East Carolina. Couldn't Purple. make out who yeah. blocked it. Though. There were a ton of guys there. Look at one, two, three, four, five guys, and it pops right into the hands of Zach Slate. Watch this move right here by Zach. Whoop. Yeah, try. <laughs> He's trying everything he can to get in the end zone because he knows that as a defensive end, you don't get those opportunities too often. He he was looking for a, uh, a quick six. Last time the Pirates got into this situation, they scored, and they might again as it's Chris Johnson for the corner of the end zone, and he's in for the touchdown.